We will now continue with exercise 3.3. We are done till sum number 4. So now we go move forward. Now the question number 5 which is there, we, we can cancel that thing because never asked and never taken by the school also. So we will go directly for question number 6 and 12. All these being word problems, I think I will better do all those sums. So for you it will be uh, easier for you to get the answers because they are numericals, word problems. Okay, So we will go one by one with question number 6 of exercise 3.3 question number 6. Four two two five plants are to be planted in a garden in such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Find the number of rows and the number of plants in each row. So what do we mean by this? It is given that if suppose there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in a row, such there are 6 rows over here. So that's why the number of rows and the number of plants per row, that is this one, they all are same. So if this is x numbers of rows, sorry, these are the x number of rows, then these are x number of plants in each row. So let's say over here, let number of rows be x and number of plants in each row is equal to x. Okay. So therefore, number we have over here total number of plants is equal to x into x is equal to x square. So we are given that x square is equal to 4, 2, 2, 5. We need to find therefore x is equal to question mark. So what do you do? Prime factorization of 4, 2, 2, 5. So we have over here 4, 2, 2, 5. We will divide it by 5. So 5, 8 is a 40. Then 22. So 5, 4 is a 20. Then 2, 5. So again 5. 5 is a 5. 5, 6 is a 34. 45 will be 9. 169 is a square of 13. So it's 13 into 13 into 13. So 1. So that gives me that 4, 2, 2, 5. Ka root is equal to root of 5 into 5 into 13 into 13. So these are the pairs. So we get the answer as 5 into 13 is equal to 65. So the question was find the number of rows and number of plants in each. So rows is equal to 65 and plants in each is equal to 65. That's the required answer. There was question number 6 of 3.3. Let me check the answers also so that we are not going wrong anywhere. So exercise 3.3 question number 6 is 3.3 question number 6 is 65. Yeah. Now question number 7. Now question number 7 says the area of the rectangle is 1936 square meters. If the length of the rectangle is 4 times its breadth, find the dimensions of the rectangle. So you have got over here that area is equal to 1936 square meters. Now we also know, so we take length is equal to x, therefore, or we given that, uh, if the length is 4 times its breadth, so we will take this as breadth is equal to x, so length will be equal to 4 into x, so area we know is equal to length into breadth, so 1936 is equal to 4x into x, so that is nothing but 1936 is equal to 4x square. So 1936 upon 4 is equal to x square. So x square is equal to, now we do the cancellation. 4, 4 is a 16, then 33. So it will be 8 is a 32, and 16 is a 4. It will be 4, 8, 4. 
with the plan transportation for 484 it's 484 2za 242 2za 121 11 za that will give me the answer as x square is equals to okay we we'll say 484 ka root is 2 into 2 into 11 into 11 that is 2 into 11 is equals to 22 so we need to find out the dimensions of the rectangle therefore breadth is equals to 22 meters and length is equals to 4 into 22 is equals to 88 meters that's the answer for question number 7 of the exercise i'll check it out 88 and 22 we go to the next one that is sum number 8 Question number eight. In a school, a PT teacher wants to arrange two thousand students in the form of rows and columns for PT display. So there is one parade. In that parade, there are total number of students are two thousand, and the teacher wants to put it in such a way that if the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, and sixty four students could not accommodate in this arrangement. That means. So let let me take one thing over here. Then let columns, or we can say let rows be x, and the other third thing is given as columns. So column is equals to x. Therefore, number of students is equals to x into x equal to x square. Now, total students. We know that the total students are going to be two thousand, but who did not participate by how much? Sixty-four. So did not or could not. We not say did not. Could not accommodate. Is equal to sixty-four. Therefore, number of students. Is equal to two thousand minus sixty four. That will be one nine three six. Therefore, x square is equal to one nine three six. Because we know the total students who participated is x square, and over here it is one nine three six. We are not taking sixty four over here because they could not accommodate in that particular arrangement. So that's why we have over here number of students. Who participated as one nine three six? So we take the the prime factorization of one nine three six by two. So it will be nine six eight two. That will be four eight four two two four two two one two one eleven za eleven za eleven za one za. So that makes it as one root of one nine three six. Is equals to root of two into two into two into two into eleven into eleven. So is equals to two into two into eleven. That's forty-four. So therefore, rows are forty-four and columns is equals to forty-four. That is the arrangement. What is given to us that the number of rows for the number of students is forty-four. And the number of columns is also forty-four. Okay, you see the next one, sum number nine. Sum number nine. In a school, the student of class eight collected rupees two three zero four for a picnic. Each student contributed as many rupees as the number of students in the class. So we'll take over here first of all as total collection is equal to rupees two three zero four. Number of students 
is equals to x contribution by each is equals to x therefore total collection is equals to x into x is equals to x square therefore we have that x square is equals to 2304 finding the value square root of 2304 2304 divided by 2 will be 1 1 5 again 2 will be 5 7 6 Again two, two, eight, eight, two, one, four, four, two, seventy, two, two, thirty-six, two, eighteen, two, nine, three, 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 one. So that gives me as x square the root will be equal to root of, or we can say directly the root of. Two three zero four is root of one two three four five six seven eight. So it's one two three four five six seven eight into three into three. Accordingly, taking the pairs, we get the answer as two into two into two into two into three. So two to the four, four to the eight, eight to the sixteen, sixteen to the forty-eight. So that means the number of students. Is forty eight and the rupees collected per student is forty eight. So number of students is equals to forty eight. That is question number nine. So this was question number nine. I just check the answers. Forty eight. Yeah. We come to question number ten. Okay, question number ten now. The product of two numbers is seven two six zero. If one number is fifteen times the other number, find the number. So we are going give, given over here the ten sum is. Let one number be x. Therefore, other number is equals to fifteen x. Because fifteen times the other number. We are given therefore product will be the product. Will be equal to 15x into x is equal to 15x square, and the product is already given to us as 7260. So 15x square is equal to 7260. So x square will be equal to 7260 upon 15. You can do the cancellation. 15. So it will be 5 threes. Uh, this is 5 ones. Uh, then 22 will be 4. 26 will be 5 and 2 2 here. Again by three, so three you'll get three. Four is a twelve, and twenty-five will be eight is a twenty-four, and four. So x square is equal to four eight four. Again, we do the prime factorization of four eighty-four. Four eight four. Two is two four two. Two is one two one. Eleven 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 one. So that gives me as root of four. Eight four is equal to root of two into two into eleven into eleven. That makes it two into eleven is equal to twenty two. Therefore, we need to find out the numbers. So, numbers are first is twenty two and then is fifteen into twenty two. That will be twenty <coughs> two and fifteen. Three sixty. So numbers are twenty two and three sixty. So three thirty. Three thirty. Sorry. Twenty two and three thirty. So that was sum number ten. Answer twenty two and three thirty. We next see is sum number eleven.
So sum number 11. Find three positive numbers in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. The sum of whose squares is 950. So you got let numbers be 2x, 3x and 5x because they are in ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5. So that's why we are going to take the common multiplier as x. So it will be 2x, 3x and 5x. Then again that the sum of the squares is 950. That means 2x the whole square plus 3x the whole square plus 5x the whole square is equal to 960. Sorry, 950. So that is 4x square plus 9x square plus 25x square is equal to 950. So this 25 plus 9 is 34 plus 8, 38. So 38x square is equal to 950. So x square will be equal to 950 upon 38. You can do the cancellation. 19 twos are and 19 fifties are then 25. So x square is equal to 25. So x will be equal to, you know very well, it will be 5 into 5. So x is equal to 5. Therefore, numbers are 2x is equal to 10, 3x is equal to 15, and 5x is equal to 25. So numbers are 10, 5, 15, and 25. We come to the last sum of this exercise, that is sum number 12. The perimeters of two squares is 60 and 4, 4, 144 meters respectively. Find the perimeter of another square equal in area to the sum of the two squares. So first of all it is given that perimeter. So perimeter of square 1 is equal to 60. So we know that 4 into side is equal to 60. So side of square 1 is 60 upon 4 is equal to 15 meters. Okay. Therefore area is equal to side square is equal to 15 square is equal to 225. We come to the next part. Perimeter of square number 2 is 144. So 4 into 144, sorry, 4 into side 2 is equal to 144. Side 2 is equal to 144 upon 4. So that is equal to 4, 3 is 12 and uh, 4, 6 are 12. So 36 is side 2 therefore area is equal to side is equal to 36 square is equal to now there's 36 into 36 1 6 plus 6 6 is 80 It's 1296 centimeter, sorry, meter square. Okay, so this was this many meter square and this meter square. Now we go further. They have asked us that there is a third square which has got the area equal to the sum of the first two. Okay, find the perimeter of the third square. So first we'll find out the area of the third square. So Area third square is equal to 225 plus 1296. That will be 1, 12, 1, and 5, 1, 5, 2, 1. Okay. So now we know that if this is the area, we know side square is equal to 1521. So take out the prime factorization. 3 is a 
3 5s are then 0 and then it will be 7 again 3 1s are then it will be 20 so 6s are so again 2 so it will be 9 then 13 13 13 1 so that gives me that root of 1 5 2 1 is equals to root of 3 into 3 into 13 into 13 that means 3 into 13 is equals to 26 therefore side of third square is equals to 26 therefore perimeter is equals to 4 into 26 is equals to 104 that is meters understood so first what was the question over here there are two squares one a smaller square other other bigger square smaller square ka perimeter perimeter is nothing but this side plus this side plus this side plus this side all the four sides ka total is was given as 60 so i know that because all the sides are equal so 60 divided by 4 will give me each side that gives me the side of one one square wo side ka square se you find out the area what is the area side square so it is 225 similarly we do for the second square the second square is this side plus this side plus this side plus this is 144 so 144 divided by 4 is 36 you get the square as 1296 as the area now we again that area of this square plus the area of this square ye dono ka square se jo bada square bana uska perimeter dhoondna hai to dono ka bada square kya total kitna hai area that is 225 plus 1296 that gives me this much meter square so this is meter square you you find out the value of this thing as 26 so 26 meters is the side of the new square which is formed so what will the perimeter 4 into 26 that will be 104 so hence you have this thing as the answer for 3.3 last sum just a minute sorry i made a mistake that is 3 into 13 sorry this is 3 into 13 so it is 39 so this is 39 and then this is 39 so it is 39 into 4 so 9 for the 36 and 12 156 sorry so the answer is 156 and not 104 i made a mistake here i made it as 2 into 13 that is 3 into 13 so it's 39 4 into 39 and 156 so the answer over here as per the back side is also 156 meters so that was the exercise 3.3 for squares and square roots. Okay.